Hey guys, it's Mike, and if you saw my prior video, which was a comparison review of Things 3 from Cultured Code compared to Nosebee, you'll notice that we talked about attachments. And so what I'd like to do in this video is clarify a little bit and show you how you can add attachments to your to-do items in Things 3. I'm going to show you two different ways, and it's very, very simple. Okay, so I am here in Things 3. I'm going to go full screen. I've created a project over here called Living Room Renovation. Now, I've got three things here. Finish the blue painting of the walls, frame a photo of the kids, and purchase Corbel for the window treatment. I'm going to focus on frame photo for the kids. Now, by double-clicking, this expands my to-do item. And we talked in the last video about all the different things I can put in here. Now, I think one of the uh, negatives of Things 3 is that it's not particularly intuitive as to how uh, I can get something like an attachment onto this particular to-do item. So I can type in here, but what I really want is some kind of an image or an attachment here. So there are a couple things that I can do. The first is I can go into Downloads and I can just select an item and drag it in. And there it is. Okay, and by double clicking on it, it opens preview on the Mac and there's an item there. Okay, so um, that's not bad. Uh, I'd prefer to see probably a little JPEG image there. I think that would be kind of cool. It would just make it faster and easier for me to know what that is. But that's better than nothing. Now the other thing I should mention is that on the iOS version, there's really very little, if any way, to import an attachment. So you have to do all this on the Mac. Again, that may not be a big thing for you, but for a lot of power users, that is a big thing, <laughs> okay. The other way I'm gonna show you is by using an app like Bear. You could certainly use Evernote as well. I have an app, uh, a note here called Living Room Ideas. And within this, what I can do is on this particular photo, I can click on copy link to note. And then over here, I can just paste that in there. Okay, not bad, uh, better than nothing. You can see that I've got uh, that little image there letting me know I've got some things in my notes. Um, so. That's two simple ways that you can add attachments to your notes in Things 3. If you like this video and you like the things that we're talking about, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And also, as always, check out the blog and other related items that all deal with purpose and productivity over at MikeStCare.com. Peace.